welcome back to the weekend show you are now watching entrepreneur spotlight my name is aisha b all right let's get started with today we have a special guest in the house i'm excited to share with you keeping a home neat and clean requires time and effort of course the clutter dust and dirt that make their way into our homes seem to form a never-ending cycle of cleaning but whether you are doing a thorough or seasonal cleaning or daily chores why not consider hiring professionals to get the job done there are plenty of little tips and tricks that experts can recommend to get the job done right and well. With that, help me to welcome Tijani Babagana. Hello, Aisha. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you doing, Tijani? I'm doing good. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you for asking. You're the head of the facility management for an Asa company. It's a subsidiary, of course. There are other yes. things that you do at Al Ansar. Yes, of course. Actually, when you say Al Ansar is uh, an umbrella, which is uh, Al Ansar Foundation, mm. and the founder and president is Dr. Muhammad Kariduka NMI, in which we have many subsidiaries, almost like 20. Yeah. We do have uh, Al Ansar Diagnosis Center here in Gudu. We have uh, Al Ansar Academy yeah, in Suleja. So many others. And so many but other you subsidiaries. Are the head yes. of the facility management for the cleaning and hygiene aspect. Yeah. Yes. So that means you're a top pro when it comes to keeping places neat, environments clean, of fumigation, whatever it may require, you all can handle that. Yes. Fantastic. All right, so let's get to know more about what you do and how you get it done as an entrepreneur. I got some words already that you're young. I heard in the studio that your guest is looking young, he's intelligent. I'm like, yes, yes. So we are ready to hear what you're going to say to us this morning. So what would you say about your company's mission and goals, for example? You know, how does that become part of your primary objectives in your organization? Actually, the mission we are having in our company is, first of all, service to humanity, and mm. then to create infinite, like, uh, and healthier environment for our client, and in addition of professionals and dedicated skills of our cleaners and stuff like that. Yeah, so get me right with this, Tajani. Yeah. The truth is, in Nigeria, domestic workers are very common. It's not something that is new, but with your company now, what type of incidents or damages occur in this nature of business? How is it best handled? We know about the usual issues, but for you and your company, give us a prime example of any incident that has occurred. Actually, um, like we visit a site and then uh, the chair got broken and the work is being given us at 400 and the chair is almost like 700,000. That's so a huge difference. Our client was like, we have to pay him back so in that our reputation so to keep our customers so we have to repay back the chair and work all have been done and he's very glad with that wow well that's a huge you know decision to make yeah. <laughs> honestly so as a head Tijani what are some professional attributes that makes your brand stand out I'll, I'll not say. okay like uh, be reliability we keep our promises mm. and then when you see our profiles we have the compliances, we have the PENCOM, we have the certificates, we have the NSITF, the CAC uh, with yes. this. So our formally companies. you guys are backed up appropriately and you are reliable and trustworthy. Uh, yeah. Yes, we are trustworthy. Beautiful. So what would you say is unique or special in satisfying your customers? Um, in satisfying our customers, we keep our promises, our integrity, uh, reliability, and honesty in transaction of business. And it's very important in Nigeria, especially where you have transparency as an issue. You have a lot of, you know, dishonesty, especially when it comes to domestic workers. So now I want us to clear things up a little bit. You know, okay. what would you consider a common mistake in this type of business? How has your team been able to overcome it? Um, customer approach. Mm. Like customer will call you to come and clean his site. So without we going to his site, we'll just tell him the price. But not knowing that when we visit the site, we will come and see it's either post construction or post renovation oh. or deep cleaning, which requires more yes, hands and more, more hand. payment. For and example. we mistakenly giving him the price. And when we visit the site, we will find out it's something else. So in that, we have to first visit your site before even giving you a price. Mm. So now you've been saying site, site, site. What about homes? Do you clean it? homes? Does your company able to go into homes and offices? Is that part of what you do at an asset? Yes, we go home, so we go to ministries, we do even land cleaning, fumigations as well. 
everything like chairs cleaning and carpet care everything we do wow that is good so now i want to clear this one last thing up now okay. <laughs> tijani okay. does cleaning or maintenance pay the bills you know would you encourage our viewers to engage in your nature of business yes i will normally you have to do it for your healthier uh, healthier future and healthier environment don't take cleaning just as a service but as a transformation and mm, experience I love that. and cleanliness is part of your faith so you have to stay healthy for your future mm, i like that yeah. you know there's something else that i've kind of keyed into what you've been saying when it comes to your business you know there's some challenges of course in every business and i think logistics you know is something that you all you know have to maneuver around yeah you know how do you do that with the high running cost of that like uh, efficiency in terms of logistics we'll let you know before coming to your site that we we'll write it to your build uh, upcoming running carrying materials to your mm -hmm. site so we have to put it for you because some materials if ca if you can see now the economy now you can buy something today or tomorrow and then the price will go high yes. so in that you have to maintain your status mm, i agree with that that is very good yeah. Funny, i'm really impressed with your composure you know your responses i am interested in finding out you know what more we can do at understand and I'm excited the viewers to find out and reach out to you, you know, via your Instagram, yeah. which is an Asar and Hygiene and Cleaning. Let us know what your Instagram is. Yes, Al Ansar Cleaning and Hygiene. And they can visit Al Ansar Foundation to see more of the subsidiaries. And the founder and president, you'll know much about him. He is the former Pumpsec Finance Budget and Planning. So by visiting big, the site, big <laughs> they are going to know much about Al Ansar Foundation. Fantastic. That's a good place to leave it, Tijani. Thank you for coming on the show this morning. Thank you. Nice to have you too. Yes, you have a great weekend. I can't wait to see what you're up to this weekend, but we'll see you on your Instagram, right? Okay, see you when I see you. Yes, then. indeed. Thank all you. right, that's all we have on Entrepreneur Spotlight, but we still got more on the weekend show. Sit tight. We've got a Mecca with the poetic interlude. Thank you.